This is how Shane Gillis just shocked the world again. Netflix announced that Shane's new self-produced sitcom, Tires, will be premiering on their network May 23rd. ShaneMGillis.com. Also, check out Quentin Tarantino's 10th and final movie. I have the lead role in it. <laughs> no, I don't. A lot has happened to Shane Gillis since my last video. The last time we talked about Shane, he had just made an appearance on Saturday Night Live as the host of the show. In what many people are considering an incredibly beautiful and poetic comeback for the young bull. Well, maybe not beautiful, that's just a little too gay for the dogs. However, if you look through the comments of the Saturday Night Live monologue from Shane, you will see a barrage of comments from people that absolutely loved Shane's performance and really appreciated the work he did on the show's sketches as well. To top it all off, all of the people who called Shane an evil racist and bigot were probably very surprised to see Shane and Bo and Yang share a wholesome moment together. If you don't understand, the significance of Bo and Yang is that when Shane was initially hired on Saturday Night Live back in September 2019, Bowen Yang was also hired and the press celebrated this move to hire Bowen Yang given him being the show's first cast member of East Asian descent. This also made it incredibly easy for the press to frame Shane in a negative light when the news about his slurs on his podcast came out. It turns out that the people on Reddit were completely wrong about there being tension between Shane and Bowen. I know guys, I'm just as shocked as you that these people on Reddit have absolutely absolutely no clue what the hell they're talking about. If Shane really does hate Asians, someone should tell him he's doing a really bad job of it. Furthermore, despite the media frenzy of calling Shane's monologue either a bomb or an awkward mess, more good news would be announced that included several major projects that Shane would be a part of in the coming months. The first announcement is that Shane Gillis was revealed to be a part of the Netflix is a Joke comedy festival that will be taking place from May 2nd through the 12th in Los Angeles, California, and Shane specifically will will be performing on the dates May 4th and May 8th. This is a tremendous achievement for Shane as a stand-up comedian, because not only will he be performing at a legendary comedy festival, but he'll also be sharing the stage with other amazing comedians such as Mark Norman, Jerry Seinfeld, Daniel Tosh, Jim Gaffigan, and so much more. To make matters even better, more news was released that on May 23rd, Shane Gillis would be starring in the new comedy series that will be airing on Netflix titled Tires. Not only is Shane acting on the cast of this TV, TV show, but he's playing major roles behind the scenes in the writer's room as the executive producer and the co-creator alongside director Steve Gerben and comedian John McKeever. The show will tell a story about a character named Will who is in charge of his father's auto repair store that is failing, and while attempting to save his father's business and make it profitable again, he catches a lot of flack from his cousin and employee who also happens to be named Shane. The cast for this comedy series is stacked as well, featuring people like Stavros Halkius, Chris O'Connor, and longtime Gillian Keeves favorite, Kyla Fox. On top of that, Andrew Schultz will be making guest appearances on Tires, where he plays a character that has several epiphanies about how Will can fix his dad's shitty business. Alright, I'm just kidding. The only kind of epiphany I'd like to see is the one where you realize that you should like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications down below if you're finding value in the content you're watching. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Anyway, we also received word that every episode of the first season of Tires has already been shot, not by Alec Baldwin, but by the entire production team. The show is currently in post-production, and the dogs are eagerly awaiting to see what bones will be thrown their way when the show goes live on Netflix. If you'd like to get a preview of what the show will be like, or get a better idea of the characters, you can check out the pilot for the show on YouTube right now. It's about 10 minutes long. This will mark the second collaboration between Shane and Netflix ever since his first comedy special titled Beautiful Dogs aired on the streaming platform platform and was met with mostly high praise and little to no hate or backlash. This comedy special actually ranked in Netflix's top 10 in five different countries and remained in America's top 10 for two weeks. As if things couldn't get any better for Shane, Netflix also gave him the green light to shoot and air another Netflix comedy special after the undeniable success seen from Beautiful Dogs. I know you guys are sick of hearing all the good news about Shane and you really just want me to come out of the deep closet I've wedged myself in, but there's more news, goddammit! Shane will also be playing the lead role in Quentin Tarantino's 10th and final movie. I'm just kidding, guys. I do want to talk a little bit about this rumor, though, because I do think it's a fun one. If you're not aware of what I'm referring to, Quentin Tarantino is shooting his 10th and allegedly final movie titled The Movie Critic, and the lead character was originally intended to be played by Paul Walter Hauser. However, Tarantino had to find a replacement for Paul given his participation in the recent actor strike. There was a leak that went viral, which was an email that was talking about how Tarantino was gearing up to shoot the 
this movie, and at the bottom half of the email it stated that Paul's replacement would be a prickly recent SNL host. Based on the divisiveness of Shane's appearance on Saturday Night Live after his firing in 2019, this led to a lot of movie and comedy fans alike to draw similar conclusions that the replacement for Paul Walter Hauser was Shane Gillis. Some people speculated this as well given the fact that Paul Walter Hauser was a big fat guy, and Shane Gillis himself goes to the doctor and has to open his mouth and say oink. Alright, I'll stop. People also thought Shane was being cast for the role after reading Tarantino's description of the character being a guy who is very funny but also a rude guy who often used racial slurs, but despite that, he was always a very funny fella. On top of all of that, Tarantino is also a comedy fanatic who was a regular guest at the Comedy Store in California, and he's also appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience and the Your Mom's House podcast, and shared stories of some of his favorite comedians and their performances. And actually, the first time I went down to the comedy stores, it's like, yeah, 82, 83. I mean, I saw it forever. We walk in the comedy store on stage, never seen him before in my life, never heard of him before, Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> So all indicators point towards him also being a fan of the young bull Shane Gillis, and if that is the case, then it seems conceivable that Tarantino could have absolutely been casting Shane for the role. Shane himself has even expressed how cool this opportunity would be, but unless Shane is throwing a red herring by telling us this is a bogus rumor, and he's secretly gearing up to act in the movie, all this rumor was exactly just that a rumor, and Shane has since debunked it on his podcast. However, I think this rumor is noteworthy and a testament to how popular Shane has become over the last couple of years. With his mighty return to Saturday Night Live as the host of the show, the overwhelmingly positive reception to his first Netflix special, and the announcement of several more projects alongside Netflix, it's no surprise that Shane is becoming a very popular figure in pop culture as far as comedians go. With all these cool things happening for Shane, I'm very happy for the guy as a fan of him and of stand-up comedy as a whole. I'd love to hear what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below, and I really hope you all enjoyed the video. All in all, this was how Shane Gillis just shocked the world again. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. I appreciate it. If you want to help the channel out, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications down below, because that's a free way to support the channel, and you're helping my community grow brick by brick, one subscriber at a time. I'd like to hit 100,000 subs this year. I think we can do it. So please help me out by subscribing down below. And if you want to support me further, you can check out my Patreon page down below. I just posted a video recently where I talk about how I make my videos. You also get to see every video early and you get shout outs every video as well. Real quick, shout out to all my patrons. We got Thomas Gill, Jay Murray, Crossblocker, Ethan, Karsten Brevik, Eduardo Ramos, Darren Lester, Jack Morgan, and newly, Olga B. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on the Patreon. I really appreciate that. But yeah, guys, hope you have a great day. Take care of yourselves, your friends, your family, and your loved ones. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.